Hey folks, today I've got a gun that I've been wanting for a long time. I finally got the thing. I've had it now for a few weeks and I've shot several hundred rounds to it. And it's the kel Sub 2000. This is a Gen 2. It's in 9mm, uses a Glock 17 or 22 magazines. It's a uh, fine weapon. It's a 9mm carbine. It has an AR style sight that uh, is adjustable just, just like an AR sight. It does have windage and elevation settings on the front sight. And uh, the rear sight is just a peep sight, a little post. There's not really much adjustment to that. And uh, the main reason for that is this. This gun folds up. And as you see, that sight folds down inside. And then it locks up. And you got a nice little package right here. You can take and put this in a duffel bag, a book bag, your backpack if you're hiking, whatever. And uh, it's a, uh, so far, not had a single malfunction with this gun. I've shot probably four or five hundred rounds to it. It's, uh, let me see right there. It's made in USA, Cocoa, Florida. And uh, it's, uh, Got this. Pull it back, and it locks in place right here. It's got a little notch cut out right here where it locks back into. It's hard to see that right there, I'm sure. But uh, pull, it, pull it back, and it locks in place. You got uh, here's your little uh, thing that it locks into when it comes back. You see right there. clicks into place and you cannot open this at all unless you pull back on that then it releases just click pop Boom. comes with a 17 round lock magazine you can also get these in Beretta Smith & Wesson M&P uh, several other variants you can get but uh, you just have to find what you want I wanted to block because the accessibility to the magazines is one thing and this is a 17 rounder they also make a happy stick a 33 rounder and uh, ain't that something pretty look at that 33 rounds 9 millimeter followed by 17 rounds of 9 millimeter I think you might be able to stop a uh, meth head with that. I've done showing that one day here a week or two ago. But if, if you see the uh, front rail, it's uh, got rail on top, rail on bottom, M lock on both sides. It's got M lock down through here too. But now that poses a problem with this rail on top. If you go and mount a sight or red dot, whatever you might want, and you go to fold this thing over, where, where's that regular dot going to be? It's right in there. They do make some funky mounts and stuff that you can put on these things that you can use that top rail and uh, mount whatever you want to on it. But I really don't see the purpose. This is meant to be a small fairly concealable 9mm carbine. It's not meant to be a battle rifle. It's meant to be something to have with you almost like a survival rifle more than anything in the way I'm thinking about it. It's, uh, it's fun to shoot. But now this thing will put out the kick. For a, you'd say to yourself, 9mm? How in the world does it kick? Well, I'll show you how it kicks break this thing down. <clears throat> Let's just push in right here. Push in on this little thing on the end. Right in there. Push it in. And you got this pin right here. That little pin right there. 
you push that in and release the pressure and you push on that and push it right on out. Uh, it's hard to do. There we go. And then your buttstock just comes right on off. And then, when your buttstock gets off, you just take and slide it out. To here, so you can pull your spring out, pull your charging handle out, and then this is what makes it kick. It's got your bolt. That's got your firing pin and all that stuff in it. And then it's got this. That's one heavy piece of steel right there. And that comes back and slams into your shoulder. Every time you fire, that thing's slamming into your shoulder. And this butt pad, if you look at it, it's got some aggressive texture in it on it. So, uh, if you're buying this thing thinking you're going to take it out and shoot four or five hundred rounds, and it's not going to kick, you might be wrong on that. But they do make stuff that'll fix that. They've got buffers. The buffers will go in here, and they will, uh, and the buffers will go in the end. Right out here near the end where your butt pad is, it'll be stuck out here in it. And those buffers will cushion that when it comes back. But I personally don't like that. Because with when it does that, you cannot uh, pull your charging handle all the way back and lock it in that slot. And so, therefore, I don't particularly like that. You gotta get this turned the right way, or it won't go in there. <laughs> I'm just putting this back together. I slid that back in here, just like that. Get it lined up here. Charging handle back on. Slide it all the way forward. Put your spring back in. Take and slide this piece back into your butt pad like so. Take and slide it over the end. There it goes into there. You got three adjustments on this thing. You can adjust the length of pull. You got three holes. And you can put that in either one. I like it on the end, right there. And you just take and press this thing down, and it opens that hole up. You come in, put your pin back in, and voila, you're back in business. To go. This thing, to me, is an awesome gun. I like to shoot it, but uh, just be warm. That big thing is going to hit you right in the shoulder every time. But if you don't mind a little kick, this is a great gun and it'll serve you well no matter what you're shooting. I've found it to be very accurate right out of the box. I haven't had to touch the sides. The uh, people at Caltech get a home run. They seem to know how to set a gun up. And uh, they actually, there's a place that makes these gel covers that goes over the end of this that'll help. They won't impede you any at all. They got a cutout right here so that when you fold this thing up, got a cutout right there for that to go down in there so that you don't uh, have anything but it just covers that butt pad gives you a little cushion but anyway enough about that let's load her up and take her outside so here I am outside got the uh, sub 2000 got 17 round magazine let's just see what she'll do
quick. That's one thing about this. It does not have a last round hold back on this. It does not come back and do that on its own. You have to do it yourself. Put the magazine release. Now let's try the happy stick. That's how you have fun with a happy stick. Keltec Sub 2000, Gen 2, 9 millimeter. Love that gun. Y'all have a good day now.